Hello everyone and welcome to Usitility. Today we are going to see how to play Global City Build and Harvest on PC using the brand new Bluestacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. It packs a punch with mega performance upgrades and it has faster performance than any other high-end Android device or Android platform. We will be able to easily download and install Global City Build and Harvest and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5 which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Global City Build and Harvest. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before anything else buddies, the first thing to do is to launch our favorite browser. We selected the one we prefer. Let's continue, going to this URL I'm highlighting in green color. Now, you are able to discover on the screen of the PC. You don't need to type anything, simply because there's a link in the video description and the first main comment. We arrived at this point on our own website of Usitility, at which we have a nice meticulous outline on how to download Global City Build and Harvest on laptop or computer. We browse lower a tad and click on the Download Game on PC button. Once clicking on this link, we get to the website of Bluestacks. No panic, it is simply the Android emulator that we are going to run to play Global City Build and Harvest on PC. As you can see from here we get a number of advantages of using this emulator. Then, we are ready to start downloading the Global City Build and Harvest by clicking on this button play on Bluestacks that I have marked in green color. Next step is clicking on it. Of course, the download takes no time at all. Here it is. Here is located the download. It is an executable file. What we have to do now is to run the installer, so we click on this file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to allow modifications to the device. We have clicked yes. I reduce the internet browser to start to see the installer considerably better. The installation software is pretty simple. It is made up of two possibilities, install, and setup path. I will make it clear what setup path does indeed. We merely click on it. Therefore we realize that we display here the path in which the emulator can be put in. If we would you like to modify this directory we must click on that browse button, and we select another directory and install the emulator exactly where we choose. To keep it simple, just keep it by default. Then, I click on back. And therefore I just click install. Great. The setup commences and it will progress along with the download of all these megabytes that are displayed on our screen. When you download it, it may be more or less megabytes. The data transfer rate could go at a higher speed or slower, based on your web access and according to the efficiency of the emulator web servers. Immediately they're working rather fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance-related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At this point, the emulator happens to be started automatically. As you will notice, at the bottom of the screen, we have a progress bar that will fill up when it has reached the finish, the emulator will be launched for the first time. The reality is the emulator has been started, here it is for the very first time. Before we continue on, as you will notice, it created two app icons right here on the computer desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks Multi-Instance. Note that the Bluestacks software icon is the one we're focused on. Whenever we choose to run Global City Build and Harvest on our desktop or laptop, we twice click this specific icon and as a result start the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. We should conduct the next phase, which is a must-have, and which is to visit the Google Play Store. And we'll just click on Play Store. As you will notice the Google Play is started. In this case we have to log on. Right now once we're here, we must absolutely perform this following step which is mandatory. Therefore simply click on, Sign In. At this point it shows, Checking Info. It might sometimes get stopped at, Checking Info, and so it fails to progress. In that case, you may attempt to log in in after a number of hours and it may usually be resolved. At this point we can type our email and password. The email really needs to be a Gmail email address and its corresponding password. As an example you could use the same email address you are using at this time in your YouTube account. Then I will type my information and I will return after I have accomplished it. 
That's all. Info typed. Here is Google welcoming us and presenting us their twos. We can accept them by just hitting, I agree. After that, it make us possible to back up to the Google Cloud. You can keep it selected and this will build a backup of the data files on this device to Google Drive. I will not select it, you do what you want. We click accept. The Google Play Store is started without need to open it manually and automatically. To set up the app, we would need to visit the emulator desktop by clicking on the icon marked green colored. Currently that we are discovering the desktop of that emulator, we can see that we come with there the install application button. We click on this button. At this point we come with the Android game. So let's mouse click right here on the install choice that I am highlighting now in green. This will launch the software setup. Now it is going to install the video game. It might take a while or perhaps it might possibly be very fast. This all depends on the web connection. This has as of now completed installing. Back to the emulator desktop by clicking the following button I'm showing in green. If you want to run Global City Build and Harvest for the first time. I am currently on the emulator desktop. And then we are on the way to mouse click on the brand new Global City Build and Harvest icon that has been provided. That game app is started for the first time. Here we get it. I am able to press anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I am going to discuss the sound level of the emulator. This is right here. We use the icon of higher volume and also the icon of lower volume. This way we will not use the windows volume to increase or decrease the audio of this emulator. As well as to take pleasure in the experience to the greatest, we can activate the large monitor, for which we have two choices. That is actually the very first one. We mouse click on that software icon which I am pointing out in green. Then the monitor is maximized, enjoying one border on top, one on the right side and one at the bottom. In the case that we need to launch the game using all the screen, we press on that game icon. And we'd without a doubt be enjoying the gameplay in 100% screen function. To get out of the full screen mode, just click the F11 key. And we might just be in standard display setting. From now, I am on the way to clarify you the keyboard mapping and that is really surprisingly enjoyable. This way we definitely will be capable to use the video game more easily. The very first task is to mouse click this app icon. And right now there you will have the ability to complete the necessary setups. Let me let the standard configuration, but if you plan to modify it, you can also do it with no problem. Obviously, the emulator is fully in our own language. Sometimes it occurs that your emulator is presented in the incorrect language, for example, in Chinese. So to place it in the appropriate language we click here to the cogwheel. So there throughout other configuration settings, we mouse click on the language, drop down. We are able to pick the language we want, English, Mandarin, and so on. Once the language is selected, we would save, the emulator would restart, as well as the game app. Next time we run it, would also be in the picked language. At this time, you can find another point that we must take into consideration, and it's that we will get an email saying that a new electronic device has been linked to our Google account. It is going to ask us if we are the people who have associated with that electronic device. Absolutely, we shouldn't get worried, since the emulator is acting as a Google Android electronic device. And then to determine which tablet or smartphone is being emulated, we come back right here, to the cogwheel and we mouse click on it. So we browse here to the, model, selection. And here we realize that the emulator is behaving like a Samsung smartphone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it guys, so much for my tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it, especially that you found it useful. If that is so, offer it a good like, subscribe, and any remarks, requests or ideas, let them in the comment box below. You also can comment things on my Twitch channel, I conduct live streams every now and then, you have it listed below in the video description and in the first pinned comment. Mouse click on any of the video tutorials that happens to be showing up on the computer screen and let's have fun again in the next online videos. Bye.